Trump just dismantled welfare overnight with major change no other president in history has done before. Across the country, there have been unprecedented accounts of welfare fraud that has been costing the American taxpayer millions of dollars. While hard-working Americans have been doing their best to make ends meet to provide for their families, thousands of others have been working harder to cheat the system. Now, after years of this constant abuse, President Trump is ready to tackle welfare fraud in a move that has never been seen previously. In recent months, authorities have been cracking down on welfare fraud across the country, and the results are staggering. For instance, in Grand Rapids, Michigan a Muslim food stamp crime ring was busted that was run by three brothers. Ahmad Khalil Karan, Jawad Khalil Ahmad Karan, and Kader Khalil Karan ran a Middle Eastern market where they operated their crime ring. The brothers were discovered to have cost the American taxpayer $736,000 from EBT and $544,000 from WIC over the course of nine years. Thankfully, the brothers were caught and were sentenced to prison for their disgusting deeds but that was just the tip of the iceberg. As more welfare fraud is discovered on a daily basis, President Trump is ready to stop it once and for all with this massive change that will have liberals screeching in horror. The welfare program was intended for people who fall on hard times get back on their feet with a little bit of help. However, the plan morphed into families staying on welfare assistance instead of looking for work, and why wouldn't they? Most welfare recipients can not only get cash assistance but also food stamps, housing subsidies, utilities paid for and medical insurance. The welfare is often so good that it pays more than a regular job which is why many welfare recipients stay on the program then get back to work. The current welfare system provides such a high level of benefits that it acts as a disincentive for work. Welfare currently pays more than a minimum wage job in 35 states even after accounting for the earned income tax credit, which offers extra subsidies to low-income workers who take work. In 13 states, welfare pays more than $15 per hour. With all that considered, Trump is making moves for Congress to tackle welfare as well as tax reform across the board and already there have been positive strides. When Barack Obama was in office, he rolled back the Bill Clinton-era initiative that required able-bodied individuals to work in exchange for food stamps. Once Trump was sworn in as president he revived that much-needed stipulation and already there has been a considerable drop in food stamp participation. Alabama reported an 85% drop in people enrolling for food stamps and other states reported similar findings. Louder with Crowder reported. Similar changes were implemented in select counties in Georgia and by the end of the first three months, the number of adults receiving benefits in three participating counties dropped 58 percent, according to the Georgia Public Policy Foundation. In October 2014, the page announced that able-bodied adults would have to find work, spend 20 hours per week in a work program, or perform community service for six hours a week. Food stamp participation declined 14.5% from 235,771 in January 2014 to 201,557 in January 2015, according to the state. 20 hours per week in a work program is light work. 6 hours of community service per week is less than an hour a day. Hardly taxing. Incidentally, taxes are the revenue source of these handouts. Asking people to work for money which was taken from people who work for money seems the fairest route to go. If we're going to continue stealing from people who work to give to others who prefer to perfect their yoga corpse pose. Namaste here, thanks. Yes, we're talking about able-bodied adults. Back off with your but they're victims. Awareness Ribbon Campaign. Most of these people are victims of rampant laziness. Or severe cases of I'd rather not itis. Kansas saw a 75% decline after implementing work requirements in 2013. In addition, nearly 60% of former beneficiaries found employment within 12 months and their incomes rose by an average of 127% per year, according to the Foundation for Government Accountability. Well, imagine that. If people are forced to get off their bums and look for work to eat, they will do it, but that is not what the left wants. 
You see the left is all about creating an any state where they take care of everyone and have complete control under the guise of compassion. The more people that they can force into being victims is better for their goal of the new world order, and Trump has disrupted their plans. By Trump getting elected and overturning the Obama-era socialist goals for America the left is raging mad and won't stop till they get what they want. Just because Trump has won this round does not mean they won't come back again to finish what they started which is why we must stay vigilant. vigilant.